You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building, Young Dolph. Yo. Young Dolph in here looking very fresh. You look like money, young man. <laughs> Dolph always look fresh, sure, though. Yeah. Dolph always look fresh. Dolph look fresh. Dolph is not, there's not too many artists that I call and check up on, but when, when, when the incident happened in North Carolina, I called and checked Which up on Which incident? Dolph. It happened two years in a row. Oh, well. Two years in a row. Yeah, didn't, didn't, didn't your truck get shot up at CIAA twice? The year before that, then the next year? I want my truck. Oh, neither one? I want one. All right. Well, the alleged <laughs> incident. Alleged incident. Where, okay. Uh, yeah, they yeah, said yeah, that yeah. Young Dolph was in the vehicle that the truck got shot up. Well, I he's bulletproof. Him him. So Dolph will be back like three weeks later. Like, hey, I'm good. I'm like, nigga, I know you're good now. <laughs> no, we was up here. I said, Envy, I said, you need to call Young Dolph and make sure he's okay. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that's a little crazy. And we were just out there, too. Yeah. We were out at CIAA. I'm not going to lie. That's part of the reason why I feel like sometimes we go places. If I don't have to be in the club or out. I just go mind my business because I feel like sometimes just things just be happening like out of your control, you know? No. So what what happened in that incident? So that wasn't your truck? You wasn't in that vehicle? Had nothing to do with you? Or do you feel like it was for you? Man, which one? What you talking about? Uh, in CIAA. This, this, year. this year. Man, one of them had nothing to do with me. I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Young Dolph still talk like he on the first 48. Yeah. <laughs> like, excuse me? Like, what, huh? what, what? But you, you do have bullet bullet <laughs> food, But man. you do have bulletproof vehicles. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was there, you know what I'm saying? But what, we tried to, they, what they were trying to do, they couldn't get it done. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It was, you lose. Now, do, do you move differently? Because you must have known the fact that the, the truck was bulletproof. Cause we look on the IG and we know you got the the cars, so you must have known because you you was in a, in a bulletproof vehicle. I just or, feel like a vehicle I just feel like I'm on a, you know, when you value life and you got so much going on, you got so many people that count on you. Like you got to secure the bag, and when I say secure the bag, that means secure the, everything in your life. You got to secure the bag for the little kids, everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I got to move right. It's just like the streets. What you got in the streets right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, the rap game ain't nothing but the streets. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, what's in the rap game? Photo are supposed to be trap, are supposed to be street. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? In the streets, I ain't never trust nobody. Mm -hmm. So, now, years later, and I'm on doing some whole nutters, you know what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> come on, now I don't trust nobody. Mm -hmm. So, I just feel like, oh, this ain't I'm moving. Because I know I got people that don't like me. Plenty of them. This ain't just started. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been having haters, big haters since I was 15, 16. You feel like it's really more money, more problems? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like, certain people feed into it, and they let that, you know what I'm saying, like like control where they going or what they doing or or control their life. Man, I'm living life. I'm blessed. Do you have you know to move like saying? that when you're home as well, or, or is it a little easier at home? At home, really, I just, I mean, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was out of town, so it wasn't that oh, I was in a Ferrari or I was in a Rave and a Porsche. Nah, you know what I'm saying? We on the road, so we riding in these Sprinters and trucks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? At home, we probably had everything out. Was the EP always going to be called Bulletproof, or did you decide that no, after the incident? It wasn't even ever an EP. It wasn't a, it wasn't ever a tape. Mm -hmm. I just went and did the whole tape. Now, so the tape is true. It's no because we had went, yeah we read the track list. No, I went, no, no listen. So in the rumor, like, in the rumor report, they shot and missed. I went through the, the whole. List? I went through the whole track listing in the rumor report. One hundred shots in Charlotte, but I'm bulletproof. I was like, that don't even sound yeah. real. And I was like, no, this is really that the track listing. That's what I said. Listing. That's what I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. All right. <laughs> I'm like, man, they don't even sound real. <laughs> that's what happened when you get whoever anybody like apparently they know what they were doing, mm. and you trying to you shoot a hundred times. And ain't no nothing shake, no nothing, no nobody hit no nothing. Um, y'all need to find another hobby. Y'all need to find something else to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, cause what y'all playing and portraying to be, whatever y'all trying to do, y'all ain't good at it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, guess what? Hey, young Dolphin Grid to break the bank on y'all ass. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Just because. First, I wasn't going to never talk about it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to do no, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? But everybody around me, they like, bro, this shit... This 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 is a part of hip uh, hip hop history. It is. You know what I'm saying? They like man. You know how many people wish they could hear it when they can talk about what you're talking about. And on top of that, it ain't no out of all of them ain't been no 
this much going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you it's a hundred shots. This is documented everywhere. I'm like, yeah, all right, man. Do you feel like it's kind of inviting drama though? Like the name it bulletproof is kind of like taunting, like on some nan 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 nan. I don't even care. I don't even give a damn. Uh. That's what the whole thing is about. Like me, I don't give a damn about it. I'm finna keep on doing what I've been doing. Take care of the fam. I mean, you gotta live life regardless. Like you know what? Can't walk around in fear, especially if you believe in God. Nah, you can't do that. Mm. That's why I'm good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't worried about nothing. I'm blessed. I'm just, I don't know, I'm special. So that put the battery in your back to go in the studio and do all these songs with new songs that you recorded after that incident. Like after that incident, you said, I'm gonna just record all these songs. I just recording as it came out like that. Mm -hmm. Do you think Charlotte's bad luck? Like, do you see that on your tour, tour, tour dates? Hell like, I'm not no. Going to Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Charlotte. Charlotte. I love Charlotte. Man, go play any, go see what's in the, the hottest songs in Charlotte in the club. How does this affect the money, though? Does this affect, like, promoters saying, okay, we don't want no issues, so. Real talk, just tell the truth. It ain't been nothing since after that, but a whole lot of police everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. Which is a good thing. I think so. You think so? Yeah, keep the drama away, at least. Hey, we ain't tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Now you and your Gotti, man. Why can't you and Gotti just come together and get this money? <laughs> <laughs> ain't gonna never happen. What you talking about, Charlotte? <laughs> <laughs> you put out the record, the record where you know you talking about his baby mom Play and with all your that bitch. stuff. Play with your Play with oh, your you bitch. talking about the hardest diss song ever dropped? <laughs> <laughs> that what you talking about? Now, now, where did that come from? Because. I never thought Dolph would do a diss record. You, you, you I, I think you even you said, said before, it's not a diss record. It's a just record. facts. I would just, you know, if I have, if I see you, if I have a problem with you, I see you when I see you. What made you do this record? It was too much plan on on the last couple of tapes. You know what I'm saying? Throwing his, his, his little diss. It's like when I got one person come to me and said, "Bro, you heard this?" I'm like, no, nah, I don't even listen to this or that. I ain't even listen for this or that. I don't I'm like listen to this. Then you're like, hey, this one come out, listen to this. Like, then you got everybody to come to you. I'm like, okay, so you want to play? Mm. Don't you, play with me. You finally came out. You, you, you said, you Don't you, play with me. You said you used to serve his big brother, Bricks. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I ain't say that. Yeah, you did. I ain't never said nothing about no Bricks my whole career. Shot man, you tripping. <laughs> <laughs> you tripping. What was man? the lyric? Oh, um, you tripping. You, <laughs> you can go back. We can bet some money. Don't play if with I me. If I said something about some bricks, i give you a, a, a million dollar check right you now. Front your big brother. Oh, you, okay. You, you say you used to front your big brother. That's what you said. You ain't say bricks. You just said front you. I didn't know a big brother. I helped put. You know what I'm saying? I helped. You know what I mean? It was right. a bun. You know what I mean? Back in the day, I helped. I helped out. Right. So you know, know Gotti and his family, yeah. Man. I mean, they had a good relationship to start with, and then things went left. It's cool. I ain't, I don't, really, don't know that even matter to me. Just like, don't, ain't, bulletproof April 1st, <laughs> we shutting the streets down. <laughs> we shutting the streets down April you know 1st, bulletproof, can, the street we shutting the streets Dolph. down. Always. You can smell Always. the street on dog. Dog don't want to say, dog was like, man, look, man. Always. I ain't trying to get caught up but in I said, nothing. I, but I thought we, we heard Black Youngster, he, he went at you hard, and then he came back and said he, he was wrong, he apologized. So I, I thought it was going in a good direction. Oh, yeah. I guess not. Shout out to them boys over there. Mm. <laughs> I rock with them. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like to see what, I like what they doing. Mm -hmm. And they from the city. Everything else I ain't got nothing to do with. Right. You think that y'all could ever like just come together, make some music, rep for the city? I can't speak on that right there right now. Mm. Now what, what I'm saying? Yeah. Now what about Gucci? He playing a big role in your career, it seemed like, right now. Does he ever give you any advice? Right now or he have? He has, yeah. Yeah, when you got in a when you got space. when you got any artists that come in like and you you done came up like kind of you came up on their music, and you jump in the same game or like anything like you jump in something and went from you being a fan of theirs to are uh, you in the same profession and y'all get to working together, mm -hmm. like that's always special. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like even now he the one like really to be like straight up, man. Gucci was like he like man. He just like, bro, lady, let's forget all that. You know what I mean? He like all that, man, to be like, forget all that. He like, bro, look at you. You know what I'm saying? He like, bro, everybody, every artist, man, every major artist done tried to sign you. Mm -hmm. You ain't signing nobody. 
know what I'm saying? Like, right now, everybody looking at you, they saying, why you ain't signing with nobody? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it ain't nothing that you can't go get. It ain't nothing you can't go buy. But you just had another baby. He was like, you blessed. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? He like, like, this Gucci man talking to me, telling mm-hmm. me this. You know what I'm saying? He like, he like, look what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. He like, he like, bro, you getting 40s and 50s a show. He like, bro, majority of all these major artists, before they were even getting 7,500 a show, they were signed probably once or twice. Like, you right, bro. And Gucci done went through it. You know what I mean? Like, Gucci done went to hell and back. Yeah. Like, just, I mean, just to even still be here. And, like, you see him, you can tell. Like, total change as a person. That's what you got to do, though. Like, in anything you win, you got to change. You know what I'm saying? Like, some stuff or some ways or something you're doing, it might be not as easy for you to change. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But as long as you know what you're doing and you stay focused on what you got going on, Everything, all the side tracks and all that, like it can't, it won't get the best of you. You, what know, about, you never changed though, from from early on in your career. Before <coughs> I think people didn't necessarily know who you are. Like you've stayed the same. You the same grind, the same grizzly, the, more the money. same way you talk to people. The only thing that changes yeah. is the money. Really, that's the only thing supposed to change. Mm-hmm. Really, mm-hmm. do the streets accept that? Do the streets accept the the the, the Dolph growth? Street love though. That's why I'm in the position what I'm in. That's why I'm able to do what I do. You right. know what I'm saying? That's why you get what you got right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, the streets love, though. Do you feel like you would sign to a major label if the right opportunity presented itself? Yeah. Okay, so, all right. So you would. So you, so It's you, not you ruled get, out. You get to the point where you're like, you know, I'm tired of, of investing my own money, doing my own thing, my own hand-to-hand, kissing babies and shaking hands. You... you no, nah, it ain't even that. It's just, because I'm going to keep on doing all that, the kissing babies, the, all that. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? But it just, it's like everything get bigger. You know what I mean? Like everything get bigger. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. So me and my position, like music ain't my only focus. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 it's, it's like the main key that's leading to everything else, but it ain't my main focus. Mm-hmm. I'm a CEO. I got a whole record label. I got six artists, all of them hard. You know what I mean? Dolph writing movies, Dolph in the fashion. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey, these folks having a billion dollars. Dolph finna get ready to get that billion dollars. I ain't thinking 20 years, 15 years, no. Think about four years, five years. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I'm just wired different. Have you been blackballed at all from the industry? Have, have, have you seen people that try to blackball you and not let you get in certain doors because you didn't sign the people or you didn't make a certain move? Yeah, people get offended. Like, oh, he ain't want to sign with me. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, people should never get <laughs> people should never get offended if you stay independent. I don't, know I don't even about understand why. As if you make a business decision and you straight up with somebody, they should never be offended about that. <clears throat> I don't know nothing about that because all my partners, I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. Mm-hmm. Know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. Because everybody I rock with, I don't, I don't know nothing about that. Just like that part of the game, I know it go on, but me, I can't even speak on it because I don't know nothing about it. Like they let me have my way and do what I do. Mm-hmm. You still down with us, Creed executives? They're my boys. Okay. They're my folks. Now, what are these movies that you're writing? Um, hard. Like what kind of is it? Kind of autobiographical. I got two. I got two of them that I'm doing right now. One of them finished. The other one like seventy percent finished. Mm-hmm. But it's only seventy percent finished because. And I started doing that one, writing on that one first. It's only it ain't got done yet because it's really gonna be the hardest one. What's it about? Can we get a little insight into some plot? It's really about like from going to to. Sticks and dirt and mud to VS Diamonds and gold. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. everybody like to see the come up of anything. You know what I mean? Like, that's why Scarface was Scarface. That's why the movie did what it did. Right. That's why I paid him for is paid him for. You know what I'm saying? That's why the movie Blow is, is Blow. That's why the movies, they, you know what I mean? Like, they, they, they like, they classics. But I feel like sometimes people like to see the come up, but then they like to see things come to a bad end. Um, I feel like in movies... Yeah, it's always got to be like a bad ending. Like, I feel like sometimes when you're successful and doing really well, 
it's always this feeling like, okay. Nah, I know what you're saying. It's like the movies that's directed in that, in that, in that line. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the street, nothing but the, all this movie, ain't nothing but about the streets. The whole movie, all it's about the streets. Yeah, it's gonna do that. Like, it's gonna end like that, cause that's how it end always for real. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, but what I'm doing, it ain't all the way. Just it ain't that ain't all. It's about the movies. On there. What kind of game is Young Dolph giving uh, the, the the next generation? Because I see like a lot of guys that's on the come up now in the rap game. They seem they to be independent. yeah, they be seem talking to you now. Like see what what you doing. I like what they doing. All of them. You know what I'm saying? Like I like what they doing. I just look at it like how I look at the people that I looked at that made me choose the decisions that I choose. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like they can look at me and be like, damn, we ain't got to be in a rush to sign a deal. We might get a hot first burn. We can just, just you know what I'm saying, go crazy, have our structure right, have our whole business, everything right, burn, really get our money out for it, burn, be ready and prepared for it when it come. All right. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's different now. The whole game is, is different now. You know what I mean? You got to know how to take advantage of it. Like, that's what I tell all of my artists, from Fizzle to Beano to Glock to Trip to, like, all of them. Like, that's what I tell all of them. Is it hard, like, you know, for them because, like, they still on the come up, but you getting that back, and they feel like they want to get it now, now. Like, you ever got to tell them, like, just wait, the money going to come? I tell all of them that, like, before I even, before we start doing music, before we start doing everything, like, I just, I see how, how passionate they is about the game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do you really want to do this, or you just want some money? You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, everything you do, you want the money out of it, mm-hmm. but... How you gonna break the bank if you got a real passion for it and you right. wanna be the best at it? You know what I mean? Like you wanna make history, you wanna break records. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Now you had a lot of great songs that we love to hear in the club. Do you ever think, I'm gonna do a song for the ladies or I love like a song about love? I got something so hard for y'all. <laughs> I was like, I got something so hard for these hoes. Hey, <laughs> 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 man. This man, it was so crazy, it's dog. It's on Bulletproof or what? No, it's mm. not on Bulletproof. It it's not on Bulletproof. No, no. M. It's definitely not on Bulletproof. I hope it's not on Bulletproof. It's going to be on the album? Unless it's so fuck em. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. But, um, damn. <laughs> You kind of small, because that song, they lo- y'all going to love that song right there, too, but that ain't the one what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's going to drop for the summer or what? Yeah. 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 See, I like Dolph seems like he got a whole plan laid out. He planned himself I'm out. trying to imagine what a young Dolph love song would sound like. Like, what? I mean, a the young man like pussy, song. I'm sure. Huh? Well, I'm sure, but I'm saying. Forever. But I'm talking about love. I'm not talking about just. Listen to forever. Okay. For me and T.I. That's what a, little, a, a young Dolph love song would sound like. <laughs> who, who does young Dolph like? Music wise, like who, who now or, or who did he he listen to? Like to my period, like, like yeah, what I just period, listen yeah, to. Yeah. I listen to everything random. You mm-hmm. mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I might be playing. It might go from Jay Z to Bob Marley to Boosie to to my boy Twenty One to to Mary J to Carl Thomas to I just listen to everything. Mm-hmm. Like I just listen to all kind of. 21 is one of those dudes who was in your lane for a minute because he was super independent. Then he went and got that bag from Epic. He did what he posted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, th- you gonna do that. It's, co- it's gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, it could happen now if you wanted it to. It's gonna I mean, I think the key is always... It's gonna happen. The key is always to get yourself in a position that you could ask for what you want and say, this is what I deserve. Y'all see the numbers I'm putting up, so I'm. this is the deal I want to sign. And you dictate that because you put in the work. I can't complain. I'm going super crazy. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> and the album comes out. You feel like you need one of them first. April first, bulletproof. This Saturday, mm-hmm. bulletproof. You and feel like tour. you need one of them radio records though. Cause I don't even think Twenty One was trying to make a radio record, but X kind of took off on the radio just a little bit. A little bit. You feel like you need you need one of those. The radio gonna come, but real talk. This how the, this how I think, mm-hmm. and this how, like this how and why. The radio is out. The radio gonna do what the radio gonna do. It's gonna always make something bigger. But at the same time, man, you got these screens and the internet. It's mm-hmm. just like the radio. Absolutely. People are playing that way more than the radio. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Right. So I'm looking at all of the screens. It's like, hey, I got all these songs doing all this crazy, all this everything going crazy like this. So the radio. When it when it do what it do, it's like it's just it's extra grams. Mm-hmm. I say it all the time. I feel like the radio's always playing catch up. 
Because, like, 21, that's the only platinum on just off internet screens and all mm-hmm. that stuff like that. So I don't even, I'm the same way. I wouldn't want radio. I mean, they dictate what's hot in the club. So, like, you know, whatever is hot in the club or hot in the streets, we have to play. Mixes have to play regardless. Yeah. Like, I mean, they didn't go for ads on Get Paid, but we had to play it because it was one of those records that people wanted to hear. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I know what the hottest song in the club is right now, though. What's the hottest song in the club? Don't play with me. <laughs> What's the hottest song in the club? Don't play with me. That's the name of the song. Don't, oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the song. Oh, don't play with me. Yeah. Drop that thing in the club, see what it do. Okay. And you got the tour coming up too, right? Yeah. Right after the right after the album. It's a whole rollout we're doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So in July. We're have a whole lot of fun with it. In so, July. No, it says the tour here. It says the tour starts in July. Oh, I thought you that. said the album. Mm-hmm. Album April first. No, album. I'm sad. Right now. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I can't wait to see Dolph continue to grow, man. Because I love when the artists are still fresh out the street, so they talk like they don't want to get indicted. And he then remains two, the same. Yeah, man. two, Dolph three years same, later. Man. Hey, I've been out the street. <laughs> I've been out the street so long. Yeah. Hey, I'm comfortable, like super comfortable. I'm, I'm just living life right now. You just right. don't know, Charlamagne. I see it. You come from where I come hey, from. I can see like, you shining, Dolph. Okay. No, I ain't talking about that. I ain't even talking about that. I you like doing you like doing interviews or are you like eh? Not really. Yeah. Because it feel like interrogations, don't it? it? Feel like you in that damn police station. And it also just... feel like you answer the same questions over and over again, especially when you just been through something that's very public. You know, when you get in, and the first thing they're gonna do is, so what happened? <laughs> I ain't tripping because if I don't want to talk to the person or if I don't want to do the interview, I ain't gonna do it. Mm-hmm. You don't do that many though. I don't see you do that many. Mm. I do some, but I don't. I had to, um, I ain't into the interviews like that. He don't do these type. He do the type where they play a song. You know, like, <laughs> music, the music talk. Hey, play my song on my album. Nah, but every time Dolph been, Dolph been there, like, what, twice? Twice. Yeah, every time he come, people, they, they fuck with you heavy. You know, they be, like, hitting us up. Oh, shit, y'all got Dolph up there. <laughs> so it's always happy. To, they always they like was definitely see. asking us, when are y'all going to get Young Dolph on there? So we're glad that you came through. Did it. No, y'all my fault, man. I had to come over here. Mm-hmm. If you want to leave a little something for us too, man, a little change. What you want me to do? Shut up. What you want me to do? What you want me to do? What you want me to do? you a stripper, yo. I always tell Charlotte, man, if he was a woman, he'd be the biggest bird. Somebody comes to the bar and I'd be balling you like this, you ass off. Hey, I'm the the uncle in the hood. Hey, man, come with that few. You over there shining. And I have a problem with this double standard because Charlotte does that. And somehow he gets money. Now, imagine I sat in here like, so you going to be looking at you a certain way. Right. Why don't we look at him like that? I don't know. What you want me to leave, Shadow? Don't leave him whatever nothing. You, whatever you can spare. Don't leave him nothing. <laughs> she said I'm leaving you. Nothing. Don't leave him nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no, he don't deserve it. He ain't doing shit. Whatever you can spare, dog. <laughs> 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 this guy's a bird. You're a bird, man. There you have it. Young dog. The album's out this Saturday. Make sure you get it. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.